Hello Sopranos, this is Eileen from Germany. Today I will record for you the second aria of the Queen of the Night. I will read the whole text first for you. Der Hölle Rache kocht in meinem Herzen. Tod und Verzweiflung. Tod und Verzweiflung flammen um mich her. Fühlt nicht durch dich Sarastro Todesschmerzen, Sarastro Todesschmerzen, so bist du meine Tochter nimmer mehr. So bist du mein, meine Tochter nimmer mehr. Coloratura, coloratura. Meine Tochter nimmer mehr. So bist du meine Tochter nimmer mehr. Verstoßen sei auf ewig. Verlassen sei auf ewig. Zertrümmert sein auf ewig. Alle Bande der Natur. Verstoßen, verlassen und zertrümmert alle Bande der Natur. Alle Bande der Natur. Alle Bande der Natur. Hört, hört, Rachegötter, hört, der Mutter schwor. So now we go a little bit deeper into the pronunciation. Der Hölle Rache kocht in meinem Herzen. Revenge of hell is like very, very hot inside my heart. Der Hölle. Der, the E is open, not der, der. Hölle is the Ö, so you practice it. Oh, 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 oh. Your tongue is just moving a little bit. Rache, you make the very, very behind in your throat. Kocht, very important that a lot of air comes out with the T of kocht in meinem Herzen. Please make the glottis of the in. So nicht kochtin. No, don't make like if you, especially if you're from a beautiful country like Spain or Italy, don't make, don't uh, combine the consonants. Don't do that. Kocht in meinem Herzen. So separate the e from in from kocht and the t. So kocht with a lot of air and in meinem Herzen. So Herzen, you already um, again have the H. If you're from England, you know that. If you're maybe Spanish or something, you have to practice that. That it's like breathing out Herzen. Tod und Verzweiflung. Verzweiflung. It's a difficult word. It means despair. Tod is death and despair. Verzweiflung. Verzweiflung. Here is the dif difference. We have two E's. We have der Hölle Rache, but Verzweiflung. So we have the E and the E. Der Hölle. Verzweiflung. It's different and it's good when you make it sound different way singing. So remember that. Mm. It's both spelled with E-R, but it's pronounced Difference, differently. So, Verzweiflung. It's an open E. Tod und Verzweiflung. Please pronounce the D's like the T's. Tod with a lot of air, not Tod. No. Tod und Verzweiflung. Flammen um mich her. They are all around me. Fühlt nicht durch dich Sarastro 
Todesschmerzen. So this is the, the cruel part. When Sarastro will not feel the pain of death through your hands. Um, it's very, very important that fühlt, that you pronounce the ü, it's the same as with the o in hölle, the ö in hölle. Fü, u, u, u. It's like an u, a u sound, but it, the, the tongue is moving a little bit upside. Fühlt nicht durch, durch dich Sarastro Todesschmerzen. Fühlt, important, make a long ü. Because if you make it sh short, the meaning of the word will change. So if you say füllt nicht Sarastro Todesschmerzen, it means filling with something. And that's very, very wrong because you want to say fühlen. Fühlen is feeling. It's the same as in English. Feeling is feeling and filling something is filling something. So fühlt nicht durch dich, Sarastro Todesschmerzen. Nicht te durch dich. For all people from Latin countries, Italy, Latin America and Spain, please make a sharp D. Dich. Durch dich. Nicht durch dich. Durch dich. Don't make such a soft D. It's just... Um, yeah, it's an accent. So please remember that there always should be t, d, d. There is always a little bit air in the German D, and it's quite of a, a very, very harsh D, not a soft one. So, durch dich. Fühlt nicht durch dich Sarastro Todesschmerzen. Um, pain like death or deathly pain. So bist du meine Tochter nimmermehr. Here we have the two different S. So is the S with the voice. So z it's the S where your um, voice is also vibrating. But bist, there is the silent S, the sharp S. So bist, not so bist, no, and not so bist, also not. Uh, this is a common mistake that the people sing the soft S as a sharp S, and then, uh, then it sounds like a strong accent. So, so bist, no. So bist. So you have two words and two different S. Du, du, again a sharp D, please. Meine. Tochter, two sharp T's, very t sharp T's, T's, nimmer mehr. So bist du meine Tochter, nimmer mehr. So we will repeat this a few times with the beautiful coloratura. So bist du meine Tochter, nimmer mehr. Verstoßen. Again, there is the fair, the open E. Not verstoßen, verstoßen. Sei auf ewig. And there you see that in the partitura, in the, in the sheet music, you see the double S. Um, so verstoßen, it's the sharp S. And ST is always st, also verstoßen. And then again comes the soft S. Sei auf ewig. Please don't sing Sei auf ewig. This is a very, very accent queen of the night. <laughs> Verstoßen sei auf ewig. Vibrating the voice in the S of sei, please. Verlassen sei auf ewig. Here you can repeat what I just taught you all the time. Ver, again, not fair. Ver. Lassen, again, double S. So it's a sharp S. Sei auf ewig. Difficult word, zertrümmert. Please do the double M, trümmert and sharp T's, two sharp T's. Zertrümmert. Sein, again a soft S, auf ewig. Alle Bande 
der Natur. So, verstoßen means like send away from where you are, if you're like abandoned. Um, verlassen means ab abandon, ab abandoned. Mm. Zertrümmert means like really, really, really broken. So the, ba the bonds of nature, Bande der Natur, bonds of nature, the bonds between mother and daughter are zertrümmert. So they are like really, really broken with a very, very, in a very, very harsh way broken. Mm. Alle Bande der Natur. Verstoßen, verlassen und zertrümmert. So, um, like, 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 dismissed, abandoned, and really broken. Really, really broken. Um, alle Bande der Natur, all bonds of nature. So, we have the beautiful coloratura. Wenn nicht durch dich. We have again durch dich, the, su the two, two very, very sharp, German D's, please. Durch dich, Sarastro wird erblassen. So, erblassen. Again, you have the double S, so a sharp S. And please don't sing erblassen. Erblassen. Make a little bit longer the S, that it's worth, worth it, because it really shows that you know the word. It's not erblassen, erblassen. I don't know whether you got that, but it's quite a... If you stay on the sharp S a little bit longer, it's really um, a good thing. Erblassen is a wonderful word because it actually means um, turn white. So when the blood goes out of your face, you are blas. In Spanish it's palido. Palido, I don't know how to say palido in English. Uh, well, but if your face turns white. And so we have a verb form of that. That is to erblassen, <laughs> to turn white. <laughs> Something like this. So erblassen is like the, the, uh, the verb for that. And um, so, actually, th she means that Sara Sarastro, Sarastro will die, but <laughs> she says just that his face will turn white, so that's quite nice. She doesn't say, like, like very ordinary um, that he has to die, but she says that he will turn very, very, um, yeah, without blood. Um, so, wenn nicht durch dich, Sarastro wird erblassen. If not through you, durch dich means through you, Sarastro will turn very, 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 very white. So then comes the big, big uh, etude for the Ö. You know, I told you at the beginning where your tongue has to move up. Hört, 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 Rachegötter. So, hört is listen to me. It's like the imperative form of listen. Um, hört is, yeah, just the imperative of, of listen. So, uh, you have the H, the H, hört, and the sharp T. Rachegötter, gods of revenge. Please, Rache is, you will know this word for revenge from the beginning of the aria, der Hölle Rache. And then Götter, please, please, please don't sing Götter. Make the double T and the Ö, once you've practiced it, make it short and sharp. Götter, really, because when someone sings Rachegötter. It's not nice. It doesn't sound German. So Rachegötter and Ter, not Ter. This is a very um, specific thing about German that you ha we have these two E's and there is not a... Yeah, you just have to practice when to make an open E and when, when to make an 
close E. It's not so easy like in French where they have the accent for it or something like that. So you can see it from the writing. You just have to learn it. So mm, usually you can uh, you can somehow uh, remember that when there's a double T, normally the E the, after that is very very open. So no, usually like in in the first area we have the word rete and. I told the people don't sing reter or reter or something like that. Here we have the same. Uh, du wirst der Tochter reter, reter sein. You remember maybe from the video for the first aria. Um, so here we have the same with Götter. It's important, really important, because everyone is like like. Um, failed if you sing Goethe or something like that. So Rache Götter. Hört der Mutter Schwur. Mutter is mother and Schwur, 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 Schwur is, uh, is the, like the Churar in Spanish. So it's um, swear, swearing. It's uh, the, the 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 swearing of a mother. Mm. So listen, please listen. Uh, gods of revenge, revenge. Listen to what the mother is swearing. So this is very good if you really do the earth quick clearly in this part. And Götter Mutter. Both times the E is open and double T. So, if you remember like the half of all that, you will sound pretty German in the area. I hope um, you enjoyed this video. Feel free to post me below, below some links to your recordings or something. If you sang that aria, please share it with me. I would love to. Bye 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 from Germany. A lot of a lot of regards and a lot of success with your singing. I hope we can be all be on stage soon again. Ciao, ciao.